Let's say you're doing a lateral wall sinus graft and all of a sudden, boom, you've got a complete tear of your sinus membrane. What would you do? Would you continue? And if so, how would you continue? Would you repair and or replace the membrane or would you abort the procedure? Well, I will tell you that the literature is very clear on this and that is supposedly we need to abort, place a membrane over the window that's created, close up and come back six, eight months or so and we should have a regenerated membrane and now we can go about our business as if nothing ever happened. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's a myth. The myth being that upon re-entry, you're going to have a membrane so thin, if it's even there, it's going to tear again, or it may not be there at all. So that's a myth. The reality is I've formulated a, invented a very nice technique, a very predictable one in the early 90s of using a type one bovine collagen membrane in a very specific manner to completely replace that torn membrane. So again, that's an example of a myth and a reality of sinus grafting. It's one of 12 that I'm going to cover in detail that will cover more than 30 years of sinus grafting, more than 1,400 lateral wall approaches, and several hundred crestal sinus grafting cases. I encourage you to come and join us. Have a great time, and let's just learn together. Thank you.